This brief tutorial will walk you through how to log on to Student Portal, as well as your Student Suite page. As you can see, the Student Portal page is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Student Portal. The Student Portal is the most essential page for you as a student of Lawson State. As you can see, it houses a plethora of information from Blackboard to email to Student Suite to the academic calendar to the final exam schedule, to registering and STARS reports in your class schedule, as well as locating your advisor, information about the Space Center, Honors College, My Degree Plan, and so much more. But today's presentation is how to log on to Student Suite, so let's get started. Click on Student Suite. If you notice, it's going to take you to the, what we call the landing page for Student Suite. What's important for you to know is to actually read what Student Suite allows you to do. This is where you would go to check your grades, locate your advisor, print your degree plan, print your schedule, notice that again, print your schedule, pay for your classes, register, let me say that again, register, view and print your unofficial transcript, view your financial aid records, any holds, and the status of your financial aid, and update your contact information. So essentially, Student Suite is really the hub of, you, of all your information while you're here as a student of Lawson State. So to log on, I'm going to go ahead and click the Login button and wait for the page to pop up. The great news about the Login page is that it does give you the directions. Also, you notice here I'm going to click Login. This is, let me take my cat block. Uh, but you can log in, but if you forget your ID or PIN, you can also fill in this information, which is your social security number and your date of birth, and submit that information, and you'll get information back regarding your login information. I'm going to go ahead and log in. Follow the directions. It's, it reads that the username is your social security number, and your PIN is your six-digit date of birth. For example, if you were born January 1, 1949, you put in 010149. Two digits for the month, two digits for the day, and two digits for the year, 010149. And then you click on Log In. Now, when you first log on, you'll get this pop-up message. You have signed on with the default password. We highly recommend that you change your password now. So I'm going to hit OK. At this point, change your password to a number that you can remember. Sometimes people like to use their, uh, if you're married, you can use your spouse's last name or, I mean not last name, sorry, um, date of birth. Or you can use the last four digits of your social security number or whatever it makes you comfortable. Maybe there's a PIN code you already have, maybe for your debit card, you can use it here. Okay, we just say use it, use a number that you use already instead of creating something from scratch. So I'm going to go ahead and change mine and hit submit. Your student pin has changed. Now remember, you will not be able to log in in the future without that pin. And that's it. Believe it or not, I'm already in student, the Student Information Center. And for more information on how to navigate in the Student Information Center, go ahead and watch a couple more videos.